Hello, people from YouTube. Today I have a good review for you. It's not a Transformer. And it's not have to do anything with crazy Marvel figures or anything like that. Because I'm not into Marvel anymore. So, you'll see what I got for you. Give me a minute. Ah! It's Jason. Now this figure, of course, is from J is from Friday the Thirteenth Part Six. It's actually one of my favorite figures. Um, I mean, well, movie actually. I've seen Part Six, Part Four, Part One, Part Eight, Part Nine. And so, you know, those are pretty much all the movies I've actually seen. And right here, you can see of uh, Jason's mask and all of his clothing. It's cloth, actually. The boots do not come off, but it's actually very good boots for a uh, serial killer could say. Stylish. Jason is stylish! Now, what do you call it? Um, here he is. And he's got a knife in the back, which cannot be removed, which sucks. He comes, here he has a utility belt on, so that's pretty good. Um, with, and on the utility belt, he has three uh, pockets that are attached to it. And each of them, in th those three, with darts inside. The darts are separate in the box, but then you put them in. But it's not much of a big deal. Here yeah, they have red on them, which is supposed to represent blood. But it just doesn't seem to, because the first thing that you actually get in your head is that it actually looks like a design. Okay, a design. And the design, from what I know, it just looks like a design on the thing, and it doesn't really look much like blood. As you can see. He's very well. This thing is really goodly articulated. To show you the articulation, his head rotates 360 degrees. Exorcist pose, you could say. Uh, so yeah. Um, his arms can rotate 360 degrees, but it's hindered by the clothing. Um, right here, you can bend it at the elbow. Not all the way up, but I mean that's good enough really to tell you. You have a feeling like it will actually go up more, but if you keep doing that it's gonna snap, so rather not. His wrist has a swivel. I'll show you right here. Left, right, it spins so you can actually do it in different directions like that. Or, you know, you get the point. You just bend this thing back, okay. He also has articulation at the shoulder. Do this, back down, like I already showed you, back and forth. Same thing for the other arm, so I won't have to show you that. Um, here at the legs, at the knee, and um, what do you call it, at the leg, he it moves up, bends at the knee. And it can move to uh, this side, like that. Same thing for the other leg. He's got ab or waist articulation. Rotates up and down, and his feet uh, swivel 360 degrees, and they uh, sort of not much. You can feel like a joint there, like it actually wants to move up and down, and it does sort of, not really, like maybe a, a centimeter or two. It's how much it actually moves. So, um, yeah, that's his articulation. And you can see from the movie, he has the bullet shots that, you know, in the movie he was shot a few times. Those are the bullet shots, bullet holes, you could say. It's got the paintball shot from the, from the, uh, from the, from the, from the guy. Shot him and then you f and later find the guy dismembered in the woods. They didn't show his death scene, but they showed him dismembered. You can already see that. Um, of course, right here you can see that he has the um, bell. Of course, the separation where you can actually take it, uh, you know, separate it from him. Um, this part right here is sewed on to the shirt. I don't know if most of the figures are, but I guess it is. I'm not sure. It's just sewed on. And uh, the pants were very wide for this guy, so I had to add like a rubber belt I found.
for a, for eleven for an eleven inch figure, and I put it on. So there, I should hold him up, pants up, won't fall down, and you you won't get embarrassed, Jason, while he's trying to kill somebody. Fix his leg here. Yeah, so you get the point here. Um. got a lot of articulation like I already said. Uh, so let me show you what his trusty signature weapon, Machete. Here you can see he has blood on each side. This is the more realistic side you could say I think. Yeah this is the more realistic side. This is the more, not really looks too real side. So yeah. You can put him in whichever hand but it's a pain in the ass because this handle the damn handle, when you first put it in, the easiest way is to put it upside down, which does not look good, as you can see. Let me just get it in right there. See? That is not the way he's supposed to hold it. It's the other way around. So you're going to have to actually put it in his hand, and then twist it so it would actually fit in. You have to twist it. You have to put it in the way I, sh I, I first showed you right now. You have to twist it. Whichever hand, I guess you could say. <laughs> there. So, um, there he is. You can give, give him different poses. My favorite pose is this one. That's the pose that I use. Yeah, and he also comes with a stand. Let me just get it over here. Here's the uh, stand right here. You can extend it or shorten it. And I'm not gonna show you how to put it on. You pretty much already have a guess on how to put it on. Just stretch these metal parts apart and just cling it onto his waist. Let's see right here it says Friday the thirteenth, Jason lives. And the trademark and stuff. Copyright. Whatever. Yeah, trademark. Um. So, uh, oh yeah. Give me a minute. I'm gonna go come back with the box. Okay, here's the box. It shows Jason's face. And back here, I don't know if you can see it. It's like, a uh, Jason unmasked. Show you Jason unmasked right now. I'll take off his mask to show you. Um. Friday 13th, part 6, Jason lives. Uh, right here it says, uh, sideshow collectibles. That picture of Jason, I can't really zoom it out because I'm using my webcam, but I'll try my best. I'll just move this part right over here. Oh, wait, wait. Um, uh, there you can sort of see it. Turn it around. Here is a picture of Jason. It's Friday the Thirteenth Part Six again. Uh, here's another figure that you c that are available, which is just one that shows it here. There's sometimes the box it shows multiple, but this is just one. It's Freddy versus Jason, uh, Freddy Krueger. And over here is the three pictures, three pictures from the movie. Uh, Jason getting his mask back, of course. Uh, this is, uh, Jason waking up over here. What's this one? On him crawling out of the, uh, the graves, the grave. Oh, yeah, and when you get the thing, of course, here's a picture of Jason on the side. Other side, so now the same picture of Jason it also opens up when you get it. It's right here, this is the front part, and then you just open it. This is what you see. That's where Jason would be in. Then it has the cast. Cast. With the, the cast from the movie. And then it has the movie poster. So now it's Jason's mask. Or unmasking you could say. Here he is. Oh yeah. And he also comes with a undershirt. That's kind of like fur. You could say. Like a fur.
fur. Fur? Yeah, it's like a fur shirt. I don't know. It's supposedly supposed to represent, I think it's supposed to represent, like, chest hair. His whole body has been on the ground for so long that he hasn't shaved and stuff like that. He hasn't been to the bathroom too long. He forgot to buy some uh, pro-shave and stuff like that. I guess a lot of shaving cream, I guess. I'm not sure. And he's got uh, the uh, stuff right there. Boy, they put a lot of it. Uh, you could actually easily take it off. It's like uh, just like a shirt, so you, like a tee. So you can just take it off and you can have Jason just like that. Because I guess they used that because they made the figure black. No actual detail on his skin. Just his face. So, and his neck line. So, yeah. Um, here I'm going to show you Jason Unmasked. Now, and before I get to his face, I'm sorry I'm making it way too long. Um, here's Jason. Uh, this mask. He's got the triangle, the crack in the head from part, f the crack in it from part four. And I can see the webcam because I can see what I'm shooting right now. And I, I know you can see my eye through his eye hole. Pretty creepy. It looks like my eye, my eye is Jason's eye. Hey, let me try that. Let's see, let's see. I can't really tell where I'm moving it because the camera's the opposite side where I'm. Let me just do this. I just shoot it away. No, I can't do it the same way I did it for some reason. Oh yeah, here. Sorry I'm making you wait, but it's just it's kind of fun. You can skip this if you want. It's just this is just for my own enjoyment. Yeah, there we go. So I've been waiting, making you wait for us long enough. So here's uh, Jason's face. Um, you can see he's also got the thing in his head. He's got an eye missing because of the ro how long it's been underground, so it rotted probably. He's got so one eye, his teeth. Uh, his teeth is actually pretty. They're kind of yellowish and whitish for a rot for a rotten corpse. Right there, he's, you can see some of his skull here and on the side of his head. There you can see skin is opening up there, so you can see his skull and stuff. Some maggots on his face, stuff. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. And um, this is Bloodshed99. See you later. Watch for more re my reviews, guys. See ya.